Hey, this is Lorley with Simply DIY, and today I'm going to show you how to dupe a $7 lamp from a thrift store into a $100 lampshade from Anthropology. The first thing I did was paint the base of the lamp. I didn't want the cord, light socket, or switch to get painted. So I covered them with foil and painter's tape. Foil is an easy way to cover awkward areas before painting. I used this old turntable, which is perfect for these types of projects. I also put a piece of scrap wood under the lamp to make it easy to remove. I used Rust-Oleum soft gold metallic spray paint for the lamp base. The base definitely needed two coats of paint. Remember, to avoid drips, it is best to do multiple light coats versus one heavy coat of spray paint. And here is how it looked after two coats of paint. These are the supplies that you'll need for the lampshade. If you want links, look for them in the description. I removed the old shade with a pair of scissors. I wanted to completely remove the shade from the lamp rings because I needed to paint the rings gold to match the lamp base. Once the lamp rings were cleaned and ready for paint, I used my favorite rub and buff and a cloth to paint the rings gold. Now it was time for my favorite part, making the lampshade. I took 12 by 12 cardstock and carefully added a strip of double sided tape to the bottom of the paper. And then I added a strip of bias tape over the double-sided tape. I wanted to make sure that I got it right on the edge of the paper. I repeated these steps with the bottom of the paper. I wanted to make sure that the bias tape was nice and smooth. This is how my cardstock looked when it was done. I repeated this step with three more pieces of cardstock for a total of four pieces of cardstock. After measuring the diameter of the lamp rings, I knew that I wanted a gap of two inches between each of the flutes. So I needed to cut my 12 by 12 cardstock in half. After the paper was cut, I needed to tape the sides of the paper together. So once again, I used a double-sided tape and placed a strip along each side of the strips of paper. Then I attached another strip of paper to the first strip. You want to make sure that you are attaching front sides together. You also want to be very precise with the placement by lining up the edges and making sure the tape is secure. I followed these same steps to add a second piece of paper onto the original paper. Repeat this process until all the strips of paper are attached to one another. After all of the strips of paper were attached, 
it was time to make the holes for the lamp rings. I did this by using a hole punch. I made two holes on each seam, about a half an inch from the top and the bottom of the lampshade. Then I took some scissors and cut a small channel in the middle of each hole to insert the lamp rings. It was finally time to insert the base ring into the bottom of the lampshade. And then I inserted the top ring And now the shade is ready to be added to the base. Remember, this was the before and this is the after. I love it. I think it looks so good. What do you think? <laughs>